What's up everyone? It's your boy Day Man. He for days 23. Unboxing and review live and direct. This is a shoe that I think I'm not going to like. But we'll see right now. And you guys tell me what you guys think. About the 11 Lab 4s. Before we get started. Shout out to all my subscribers, everybody that supports. Hit that thumbs up for your boy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And to the little kids, be careful, man. Be careful. A lot of frauds out there. I guess sneakerheads nowadays means you're a nerd with ashy hands and fake shoes and your audience is 95% teenagers <laughs> you sucker shoot the fade whenever you want champ anyways I don't think I'm gonna like these but y'all tell me what y'all think I could be wrong once again, if you guys don't know, the lab line is when they take a certain model and they lab it out into another one. This is the 11 Lab 4. Thank God I still had these out. Meaning they take the 11, the patent leather from an 11, and they lab out the whole 4 with that patent leather. So we're gonna check them out. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like these. You know. To be honest with y'all. But I might love them. You never know. Feel me? Keep it in one hundred. Got to earn shit. Ten and a half US. Nine and a half UK. Box price two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow! Damn. Jordan Eleven Lafo. Good look. There's the box. You guys know the lab boxes by now. We should. Bling 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 blow. Yeah, it says two fifty on it, don't it? <clears throat> it's pretty expensive. Let's check them out. Oh. There. All right. You guys, know the labs come with a little lab certificate joint. Pattern Leather 4. Jordan Element Series. I don't think I ever did this with any of the labs. Any of the videos I might have done. I'm not sure. Jordan Element Series. Y'all can see that. Y'all can pause it. Y'all can read it. But I'll read it to y'all. Classic Air Jordan. The Classic Air Jordans. <clears throat> Icons of Greatness. Everyone born on everyone worn on the hardwood each unforgettable design and unmistakable elements the series mixes the most iconic elements with the most classic air jordans shining a new light on a selected collection of legendary footwear there and then the patent leather four which is the 11 lab four the one we're about to look at right now y'all see everything is labbed out even the little cards there was better for me to read it uh, the Air Jordan 4 brought Tinker and, Mike and Michael's vision of lightweight performance to life with its classic grid mesh and a touch of fighter jet design inspiration. Fast forward seven years and the Air Jordan 11's turning heads with its patent leather upper, patent leather upper and flying in through MJ's fourth championship season. 
one of the most iconic elements in, from any Air Jordan ever. It's only fitting to let the Air Jordan 11's patent leather shine on the classic Air Jordan 4's. The little lab certificate, ticket, whatever you want to call it. I never even opened one of these, I don't think. I might have, maybe last year or something. Alright. This this is a shoe that is fake everywhere. Speaking of earning things, <laughs> those are fake. <laughs> those are not real lab force. Let me see. Because I'm not too worried about names and addresses. No foot locker, credit, debit. 270 after tax and everything. Pretty expensive. Um, probably be a dope, nice little shoe. And I'll do the um, the Lab 5s next to these in one video uh, with the Lab 3s, you know, all, and do that. Same with the Stealth and same with the Lasers. I'll do those videos. Uh, we just need to get, get the subscribers up and get some support. Otherwise, I'll just take a break because I'm, I'm shooting like I don't know, ten, twelve thousand dollars, you know, in one week. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> With five hundred views or something, so I might need to slow down a little bit and let people get into them. Enough talking. The tissue paper. Okay. Got like seen on the tag. There's no retro. So when they do retro these. These would be the OGs. There's a first look. I'm looking at the screen, not at the shoes. They look really shiny. But let me get them both out. I was going to put on gloves for this video. It's all patent leather. Once again, last video. The real J's, the wrap one, and the tissue paper, they put tissue paper on every corner now they block each shoe with with more tissue paper to make sure that the front of the shoe doesn't rub on the back of the other one and things like that put the other one out let me close this I mean Damn. I mean, first glance. Yeah, this is going to be an iconic shoe, man. The red is going to be an iconic shoe. This is definitely an iconic shoe. Will be. Um, what do you guys think? Go on in depth. I might I might have to edit this video because this might be like a 30 minute video. Even though it's one color. I wanna look at these joints. Um my mind has changed a little bit. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it was gonna be such good quality as far as the patent leather. I I thought they were gonna be kind of you know, defective or raggedy or janky. They're not. I think I'm going to get to really liking these. But first, I got to wipe them down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Labbed out into the floor. Could have had these out because... Wasn't gonna unshrink wrap any concords, anything like that. Good shot of the shoe. Crazy nice waxed laces. 
I wonder if there's any uh, any 3M lines on it on this any pop. I'll give you the specs and see if it says any reflected mess on here. Damn. Make sure that you know they're on point. Where's the patent leather? Because that's the whole point, right? They're doing a whole shoe labbed out patent leather, so if it's not on point, then what's the point of doing it? And 250 for the kids? Come on now. Yeah, you're gonna have to wipe these down. It's all patent leather, so like around the, like, you know, a little dust from the air and all that, pop, pollen, whatever you call it. Where the cracks and stuff are. This is definitely a shoe you're gonna wanna shrink wrap or not leave out, you know, like this. Because the stuff that's just in the air is just gonna get in between the cracks and all that on that patent leather. But let's open these joints up and let's see what's going on and go in depth. Dead stock, of course, 100% genuine. These came from Foot Locker. I wasn't going to take a look at these or open these till like later on in the year, till the red ones came out. And somebody requested on Instagram to the lab fours. So I had them sent from <laughs> I don't know seven miles away <laughs> shipped to me. Here's the shoe tree. Any difference? Nah. You do shoe trees coming with that. Tissue paper inside the shoe tree now. The stem of the shoe tree. Colors and things and things. Okay. Wow. And I did, man, I've changed my mind a little bit, ladies and gents. These things are kind of ridiculous, man. These things are kind of, I mean, jeez, talk about gator shoes. Don't get any shinier than this. Look at the toe cap. Look at the toe box. Check the netting. Oh, we got that old school. We got that old school four netting. Black. Check this out. See on the inside, right here. Remember on some other models I was showing you guys back here on LS's, like they have the little sticker. These lab fours have like a little cardboard joint right there, so the stem hits the cardboard and not the inside of the shoe, which is leather. Wow. That's cool. That's really wavy. But let's start from the outer. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the foes. All black. Work with me because I'm trying to look at them too. You feel me? All black. Four outer. One of the easiest one for outer sole protection is the four to cut because you got the line right here. So once you don't have to cut it before, uh, they do say that, and you can, that's fine. To me, I find it a lot easier applying the protection. And once it's applied, hit it with the X-Acto and cut it, you know, gently. And then heat it again, 
and kind of press it in with your nails like that. And sometimes I even put another little strip and heat it over. What I do. There's your outer. Take a look at the mid. Traditional four mid. Pivot point starts. Not abrasive. Mid black. Let's see what is this. Got rubber. Yeah, high polished right here. This is not patent leather, but it's high polished. This is nice. That four rubber mid. Everything is like acrylic, shiny, metallic, lacquerish patent leather. Then on the back, what do we got here? It's not patent leather, but it's like candy paint. <laughs> BB. I ain't got no money, baby. It is heavily pat, uh, shiny. White. Hit a white right here on the back coming around. There's your air unit. What color is it? I'm sure, it's black, right? Let's see. Let me check them out. Yes, sir. Black air unit. The towers are black. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Like in the cracks, you leave them out, dust is going to get on these joints. Alright, and then we go up, and after this and this, all patent leather. All patent leather, all patent leather. Quality is amazing, I can't lie to you guys. Quality is amazing. As you can see. The contrast of the stitching hits it off really hard. Pause. There's the inside. Whoop, whoop. There's the netting. Take a look at the netting. Taking it back to the old school. Feel a little different than the Oreos and the Teals. Old school. The strap, man, strap is patent leather too. Oh, this is high polished the heck out. Same with this one. Black wax laces. What about the tips? Just black. Yeah, net it all the way up to the upper tongue. Man, this tongue feels incredible. You got your jump, man. Logo. Flight jump, man. Three three dimensional feel. Yeah, I changed my mind, dude. Changed my mind. These joints are leather inside. Back of the tongue is all leather. Nothing on it. Sock liner. The guts of the shoe. All black leather. Got that little patch over there. See what I can do with the insole. Fours are usually easy to grip. Nothing special. You got your stamp. White. With the blue stamp, black stitching around it. You do have the red stamp, like retro four, like four or whatever. The insole is black. The white jump man. Let me get that back in there. Yeah. There goes that little this 
little cardboard thing, half, mm. which is holding, which is right there. So look out for that. I think it took a look at the snatch and the ticket. Yeah, go buy them now, brother. Damn. It's real leather inside. 10 US, 90K. They go to numbers. It's real leather to where, like, the, the leather wrinkles, the patches wrinkle. It's the best someone will be able to do with that. And, I mean, besides more than that, back of the shoe. Got the jump man. Everything is patent leather black man. Labbed out from the 11 to the 4. There's the jump man. The pull tab. Patent leather. I guess, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, these are worth 250 man. There's some craftsmanship going on in here, some texture and some leather. This is a hell of a premium sneaker. I hope the uh, high definition camera, the professional commentator lights that we we're using in this room, does the sh kick justice. Tongue feels great. See, because it was because the whole patent leather shoe, I thought it was gonna, I thought it would have it was gonna be like a hard, like a hard shoe. You know what I mean? Like all patent leather, I thought it was gonna feel have like a plasticky hard feel. But no, not at all. Everything has like a real. Here I go again, a real Euro leather. Feel. I mean, just look at the guts. Let's see. It's all leather. Very reflectiveness, I guess, huh? Patent leather. Whole joint. Here go the other one. I mean, yeah. No, I like these, man. I like the tongue, the guts, and the the laces. The best. I really like the inside. I really like the tongue. I really like shoes where the guts are all leather. And this don't feel like no cheap leather. It don't feel synthetic. It feels really good quality. It feels like a $250 pair of sneakers, fam. For real. That's real talk. No car keys today, folk. <laughs> to my man. Oh, man. I drove a Corolla today. FYI for your information. I'm not into showing off or nothing like that whatsoever. I'm into giving back. You got a good eye though, man. <laughs> See? So I know you catching them people out there with them fakes. You you looking at everything around the room. <laughs> catching every little thing. And you got to be knowledgeable and be a smart guy and have a little bit of dough or something, man, to know what them things look like. So, I see you. If you want one, you can get one. It's not a problem. Just do your thing. Let me um give you guys the correct... Believe that. That's real talk. Let me give you the colorway. Um, shit, black, white. Of course, you guys got it at the beginning of the video. 
I didn't get a chance. Yeah, man. Black, white. And, of course, the Nor the Nora Blank. You know what I mean? The outer. Let's uh, get rid of that. Let's put them like that. And...